Oh, we did a pre-trip, got some fuel. Got here at 6.15. First time I've ever seen where they didn't send you through, but maybe it's because I had dropping hooks. Um, so I had to go park, wait till 7 o'clock, and now it's the mad rush to uh, check in with everybody that was sitting there. So we'll see you in a little bit once we get offloaded and since he hasn't mentioned anything to me I guess after once I'm unloaded I'll go pick up that one but we'll see how bad it screws up my pickup for tomorrow all right see you in a little bit hey everyone well checked in almost we're at seven almost 7 30 that time because right at seven o'clock everybody I was waiting just started pulling out um went in had to check in so now our trucks in front of me so now I'm in their outbound lot with a bunch of other trucks waiting to get a door assignment to get unloaded thank god that pickup picks up by six but that's going to screw up my delivery tomorrow morning. Any way you look at it, whether I do a two out, whether I do a split or not, it still would screw up a 7 a.m. delivery. So, well, it's been eight, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, almost 6 hours. They started unloading me about 15 minutes ago, half hour ago. Yeah, at 7 o'clock, I said, got to cut it. <clears throat> and I reserved a spot at the Pilot in Rochelle only because these guys have restrictions on where you can fuel and between that going there and between there and going up 88 to do this delivery because it's the shortest route um, there's nothing for pilots or anything and there's nothing going from there to Bedford Park. So I'd have to fuel there. That way at least I can go deliver if they want me to deliver. Because it's sounding like if I tell them it's going to be 11 o'clock before I even get there. It sounds like they'll schedule this for next day. And that. So um my guess is I'll end up having to go across 88 and then go back to the yard, drop, grab an empty, and then go down to Bedford Park. But who knows? Well, we'll let you know when we know what's going on. See you in a little while once we get rolling towards your pickup. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go make this pickup. Whether we'll make the delivery or not, it's going to depend on when he can reschedule the delivery for. At the end of the street, turn right.
COVID. Left. I don't know. <clears throat> Their net weight's 32,000, but with all these, these aren't even really bottles. There's something else there. Um, they got them in like bins, so. It says it's gross weight 42,000. Which is way more than what he told me it would be. Somebody got sneaky and gave him 32,000 in that way, and not the gross way. But yeah, I'm definitely not making uh, no 7 o'clock. Even if I did. Uh, The rest is split and only took eight hours off. I don't know if I'd have the time to. Uh... All right. Let's see how these weights are. Too lazy to drive around. stretch it out anymore so dumbass load me tail head. Eleven six eighty thirty thousand seven sixty and thirty two six hundred. What a crack of crap. Oh yeah, the broker said you can just go in there. He's had lots of trucks. They'll work you in. Alright. I'll do that. Try this again. Uh, got here at 10.30. Didn't say anything. Gave me a door assignment. Started loading me. Unloading me probably 
I don't know, a half hour ago. Feels like they're almost done. So, all in all, I mean, the review said this place is like backed up, it's taking forever. Um, I'm assuming all the doors on my right are outbound. Most of those guys haven't been in there all that, that long. By the way it looks, so, and I don't see any backups. The lot's not full or anything. Like I said, I was surprised I got in right, right away. There was one of our trucks here and another guy, and they unloaded our truck, and then they loaded the other guy, and now they're unloading me, so hoping to be out of here in a little bit. Then I'll go to the yard, and I have two picker tomorrow. I pick up at one place, and right next door I pick up at the other place, go into Weirden, West Virginia. Doesn't pay bad. Um, Damn nice I'll have to see if it's a direct or uh, I deliver tomorrow's Wednesday. If it deliver. All right, they gave me the green light. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Now where was I? Sorry about that there. Came in a green. Now, if you come and delivering here, I would assume make your point. I don't know if they're, I mean, all the reviews are on certain days of the week. Sometimes they're busy than others, but I didn't see any backups. And it was just wait your turn to get unloaded, which is what I did. It wasn't too uh, horribly bad. Um, and that's a that's the bad thing. I guess we should uh, be constantly leaving reviews, good along with the bad. At, at these places that have websites that are used for. Like, I'll probably, once I park, leave a review. Uh, like I said, I didn't see any huge backups. The loading side, uh, might have been more screwed up. Um, the unloading side wasn't too horribly bad. I think they got one guy that unloads, and they got, well, I have one door tied up. I think they have five doors there. So if there's five people, if you were the fifth person, you'd be talking, depending on what they had and where they had to place it. One, yeah, you'd be talking pretty close to three and a half, four hours. Five. A little slow on the reaction time there, Bubba. 